Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Before going to the video, those who are not subscribed our channel, subscribe it and also click the bell button. In this video, we are going to see about analysis and design of fundamental mode state missions. First, what is a state mission? State mission is a mathematical or behavior model which is used to design algorithms. These state machines are used in applications where distinguishable states exist. This each state can lead to one or multiple states and can also end the process flow. A state machine consists of a finite number of states and hence it is also called as finite state machine. A state machine reads a set of inputs and changes to a different state based on those inputs. A state is nothing but it is a description of the status of a system waiting to execute a transition. A state machine is said to be synchronous when the state transitions are controlled or synchronized by a clock signal. A state machine whose operation is not dependent on a clock signal is said to be asynchronous. Finite state machine which is also called as finite state automaton is an abstract model which describes the synchronous sequential state machine which is usually represented as a graph which consists of a finite number of nodes and arcs. Here the nodes describe the possible states of the system and arcs represent the transitions that change or do not change the states. Asynchronous state machines are designed under fundamental mode which means that only one input variable can change at a time and only when the machine is stable. Generally, the finite state machines are used to model computer programs and sequential logic circuits. There are two main types of finite state machines. They are Mealy machines and Moore machines. First, we will see about Mealy machines. Mealy machine is a state machine in which the output depends on state variables that is the present state and also on the present input. It requires only a few number of states for implementing a function than compared to Moore machine. Mealy machines generally react faster to inputs. They react within the same clock cycle. The output can change asynchronously in response to any change in the inputs. And also in Mealy machine, if any input transient glitches are present, they are directly conveyed to the output. Design of Mealy machine is complicated than Moore machine design. The characteristic equation of Mealy machine is given by output z of t is equal to g, g of s of t comma x of t. Here g of represents the function and s of t represents the present state and x of t represents the present input. These Mealy machines are applied to provide a rudimentary mathematical model for cyber machines. Next Moore machines. In Moore machine the output of the machine depends only on the state variables that is the present state. It requires more number of states than Mealy machine for implementing the same function. Here the input changes do not affect the output because the output depends only on the state variables. And also in Moore machines more logic is required to decode the outputs resulting in more circuit delays. 
this uh, characteristic equation of a Moore machine is given by output z of t is equal to g of s of t. Here g of represents the function and s of t represents the present state. An example for Moore machine is an elevator. In elevator, we can imagine that each floor is a different state in the machine and when you press a button to get to a certain level, you change the actual state of the machine to the new level without giving any additional input. Now, we will see about the block diagram of Mealy machine and Moore machine. So, both the block diagrams consist of input, next state combinational logic, state register, output logic and output. But the only difference is in Mealy machine, the output also depends on input in addition to the present state. Here, the next state and output combinational logic circuits consist of logic gates in which the outputs depend only on the current state of its inputs. Here, the state register is the memory element that stores the state of the finite state machine. It is synchronized by a global clock. Here we will be using nothing but the flip-flops. Now let us see the steps involved in design of finite state machine. The first step in the design of finite state machine is we have to understand the problem. After understanding, we have to sketch the state diagram or state transition diagram. And after that, we have to draw the state transition table. State transition table is nothing but tabular form of state diagram. And next, we have to determine the machine states after state reduction. State reduction is nothing but we have to eliminate the redundant states. After that, we have to encode the states, outputs and inputs as a binary code. After that, we have to write the Boolean equations for the next state combinational logic circuit and output logic circuit and then design these next state and output logic. And after that, we have to implement the finite state machine. Next, for analyzing any clocked sequential circuit, we require state diagram, state table, and state equation. Sequential circuit is nothing but a combinational circuit and memory that is flip-flop. First, we will see what is a state diagram. It is the pictorial representation of the behavior of the sequential circuits. It clearly shows the transition of states from present state to next state and also the output for a corresponding input. In state diagram, we are considering all the states are stable that is steady and transitions from one state to another are caused by input or clock pulses. In state diagram, each present state is represented inside a circle and the transition from present state to next state is represented by a directed line connecting the circles, that is the states. In the state diagram, if the directed line connects the circle itself, then it indicates that there is no change in that state. That is, the next state is same as the present state. Now, we will see the state diagram for Mealy machine and Moore machine. For Mealy machine, the director line connecting the states is labeled with binary numbers which are separated with slash as shown in the diagram. Here, the input value which causes the transition to occur is labeled first, that is before slash. 
and the output produced for the corresponding input is labeled after slash. Here A, B, C and D represent the different states of the system. In more machine state diagram, the dotted lines are labeled with only one binary number. That binary number is the input value which causes the transition. Here, the output value is indicated inside the circle below the present state. This is because in Moore model, the output depends on the present state only but not on the input. Now, state table. Although the state diagram describes the behavior of the sequential circuit, in order to implement it in the circuit, it has to be transformed into the tabular form. So, the information contained in the state diagram is transformed into a table which is called as state table or state transition table. The state table for Mealy machine and Moore machine is shown in the diagram. Here it has the present state, next state and output. Here the present state is the state before the occurrence of the clock pulse. After the application of the clock pulse, depending on the input, whether it is 0 or 1, the state changes. So, the next state is indicated in the next state column. The output produced for each input, it is represented in the output column, that is the last column. In Moore machine state table, the output depends only on the present state, hence the last column has only one output. Next, we will see about straight reduction. While designing a sequential circuit, it is very important to remove the redundant or equivalent states. State reduction means removal of these redundant or equivalent states. This state reduction reduces the number of flip-flops and logic gates and thereby reducing the cost and size of the sequential circuit. It also reduces the complexity of the sequential circuit. Two states are said to be redundant or equivalent if the output and the next state produced for each and every input are the same. One of the redundant states can be removed without altering the input-output relationship and this method of elimination is called state elimination method. Now, let us consider an example for state reduction. Determine the reduced state table for the given state table. Here, the given table contains present state, next state and output produced for inputs x is equal to 0 and 1. To find the reduced state table, first we have to find the redundant or equivalent states from the given state table. For that, we have to compare each present state with the other to check whether the next state and outputs are same. From the table, we can observe that the present state B and the present state E is same, that is it is equivalent states, that is their next states and output are same. So now we have to replace the redundant state with the equivalent state. So replace E by B and remove the state E. So here the second table shows the reduced state table. Next we will see the state equation. State equation is an algebraic expression which specifies the next state as a function of the present state and inputs. As we already know for SR flip-flop the state equation or characteristic equation 
is given by q n plus 1 is equal to s plus r bar into q n. Here q n is the present state and q n plus 1 is the next state and s and r are the inputs. Similarly for jk flip flop the state equation is q n plus 1 is equal to j into q n bar plus k bar into q n and for d flip flop the state equation is q n plus 1 is equal to d for t flip flop the state equation is q n plus 1 is equal to t into q n bar plus t bar into q n thus for analyzing clocked sequential circuits we require state diagram state table and also the state equation. Now let us design a mealy machine for binary full adder. Let the input be two binary numbers x and y in which x2, x1, x0 represent the bits of x and y2, y1, y0 represent the bits of y. Let S0 and S1 be the states which occur if the carry bit is 0 and 1 respectively. That is S0 represent the state if the carry bit is 0 and S1 represent the state if the carry bit is 1. Now let the start state be S0 that is initially the carry input is 0. Now if we add any two bits that is xi plus yi, if the sum is 0 and output is equal to 0 for binary full adder we have, we have to stay in that state that is S0 state. Since there is no carry and if the sum of the two bits xi plus yi is equal to 1. Our output will be 1 and we have to stay in S0 state itself since here also we have no carry. Here i represents the numbers 0, 1, 2 that is bit numbers. If the sum of two bits is equal to 2 that is the binary equivalent which is 1, 0 our output will be 0 and we have carry 1. So we have to move on to S1 state. Now if we are in S1 state our carry will be 1. So in if you have to add the number of bits we have to add the carry also. So xi plus yi plus 1 is equal to 1. So if the sum is 1 our output will be 1 and we have to go to S0 state since we have no carry in the operation. Similarly, if the sum of bits xi plus yi plus the carry 1 is equal to 0, that is the binary equivalent 1, 0, our output will be 0 and we have to stay in S1 state because here carry is equal to 1. And if the sum of bits xi plus yi plus carry 1 is equal to 3, our output will be 1 and we have to stay in S1 state because here also we will, we will have carry bit is equal to 1. Now from the previous observations we can sketch the state diagram from for the Mealy machine. Here S0 is the state which represents the carry input is equal to 0 and S1 is the state which represents the carry input is equal to 1. Now if we are in S1, S0 state that is the start state for input 0, 0 our next state will be S0 and output is equal to 0 and for input 0, 1 our next state is S0 and output is equal to 1. And for input 10, 
our next state is s not and output is equal to 1 and for input 1 1 our next state is s1 and output is equal to 0 suppose if we are in s1 state for input 0 0 our next state is s not and output is 1 for input 0 1 next state is s1 and output is 0 for input 1 0 Next state is S1 and output is 0. For input 1, 1, next state is S1 and output is equal to 1. The information in the state diagram can be transformed into a table called state table. Now, let us design a Moore machine for binary full adder. Here, our input are two binary numbers x and y. In this machine, since our output depends only on the state variables, that is the present state, here we require more number of states than Moore machine. In this problem, we require four states. The first state is the S0, which represents the state when the carry input is equal to 0 and sum of the bits xi plus yi is equal to 0 and s1 represents the state when carry input is equal to 0 and sum is equal to 1 and s2 represents the state when carry input is equal to 1 and sum is equal to 0 and s3 represents the state when carry input is equal to 1 and sum is equal to 1. In Moore machine as we know we are placing the output inside the circle which represents the state. The state diagram and state table for Moore machine of a binary full adder is shown here. Here when we are in present state S0 our next state for input is equal to 0 0 is S0 and for input 0 1 is S2 and for input 1, 0 is also S2 and for input 1, 1 is S1 and our output will be 0 for S0 state. Similarly, when our present state is S1, our next state for input 0, 0 is S2. For 0, 1 and 1, 0 it is uh, S1 and for uh, 1, 1 input our next state is S3. And our output will be 1. Similarly for present state S2. Uh, our next state for input 0, 0 is S0. For 0, 1 and 1, 0 it is S2. And for 1, 1 input our next state is S1. And our output will be 0. Similarly for present state S3. Our next state for input 0, 0 is S2. For 0, 1 and 1, 0 input our next state is S1 and for 1, 1 input our next state is S3 and our output is 1. Here our output is represented in a single column because it depends only on the present state and not on the inputs. So whatever may be the inputs our output will depend only on the present state. Next. We will see the previous question. This question was asked in number 2020. The statement which is not applicable to a Moore machine is output is a function of present state only. Next, uh, it requires more number of states for implementing same function. Next, input changes do not affect the output. Next, the characteristic equation of output Z of t can be given as z of t is equal to g of s of t comma x of t where s of t represents present state and x of t represents present input. Here as we already know in Moore machine the output depends only on the present state but not on the present input. So here the statement d is not applicable to a Moore machine. So our correct option is Thanks for B. watching the video. For more videos, don't forget to subscribe our channel.